Hey you guys, this is Miss Gigi. Listen, I just saw, this is like my second video that I ran across on YouTube, on social media. There is, um, it was two separate women. They were crying. Their husbands just, you know, picked up and left them out the blue. You know what? Let's talk about this. This is why um, I encourage you to always stay independent no matter what. He, they left her after, he left her after seven years. And then the other lady husband left her after, I believe, 20 years. Listen. Do not never ever rely on a man. I don't care how much he say he love you, baby. I'm gonna be here for you always. Do not ever be dependent on a man. Let me tell you. Um, I was in an abusive relationship when I was 19 years old. And my ex knew that he was the one paying all the bills. He you know, when we first met, he was like, baby, I love you. I'm going to take care of you. You're the only woman where you're so fine. You're so chocolate. You know, I, I love you. you. You everything to me. But he just started getting drunk. I picked the worst. I picked the worst guys. I don't know. I don't know. For me, this is like sometimes I my, my pick meter has been off for the last um, couple years. <laughs> But, um, but yes, that was my, um, first relationship and it was, you know, uh, abusive. It wasn't my first, it was my first adult relationship, but it was abusive. And he knew when I let him move in with me in my apartment, because, um, I had my inheritance when my, when my dad died. And so when my inheritance ran out. I let my, my boyfriend was like, don't worry about it, baby. I got you. I love you. We we, we going to be here together. We in this together. Well, as soon as, you know, like I said, he realized, oh, she, she depending on me. She need me. So I can say and do whatever I want. You know, she ain't going to never put me out because she, she you know, uh, she ran out of her inheritance. Let me tell you something from firsthand experience. Never, ever, never, ever, never, ever. A man could talk. He, he going to feel like he could talk to you any kind of way. He can stay out as late as he wants to because he paying the bills. He the breadwinner. He will try to control and dominate you and manipulate you. Never, 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 never let a man feel like you need him and he is all you got. And it, without him, you will fall because he will rub that in your face. He going to act like it and then, and then he will actually walk out on you. Just to see what you're going to do. Just to see how you're going to react. So, I know I know how these men are in these... I know how these men can be. Marry and dating. They the same. It's just, you know, testosterone. Um, white or black. Because my, um, my boyfriend, when I was 19, he was white. So, it doesn't really matter what the color of the skin is. An asshole is an asshole. Period. Like... I just got to pick better men is all I'm saying. And um, I I feel I feel like sh these two women, they let themselves go. You should never do that. They stopped going out and doing the things that they want to do. You should never do that. They got pregnant. They gave up on their dream. They, they, they don't, I don't think they have any form of education. Or any training, any skills. Because they're like, what am I going to do? I need help paying my bills. Da, 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 da. Look. Don't ever. F first of all, I know it, it, it's um easier said than done. But when you're in these abusive relationships. And I know how it is. You want to stick by your man. and you, Even though you know it's falling apart. We got women intuition. Okay, we got a uterus. We know when the shit ain't working out. But we try to hold on to it anyway. And um, no. Let it go. 
when you at first signs of trouble. When you when you sick of his shit, when you when you don't care if he come home or not, let him go. Because if y'all arguing all night long, let it go. And then you need to be getting yourself together, pulling yourself together, getting your education. A GED, I don't care what it is, as long as you got some marketable skills that you ain't got to depend on no man, um, just in case you need to go back to work. Um you know, being a housewife, see that, that to me, I have never been a housewife. That's, um, a lot of my friends, you know, my, my homegirls, they's like, oh yes, um, I'm a housewife. And it's like, okay, well, you know, I ain't judging cause they man got money. But then, you know, once he get tired of paying the bills, then what you going to do? Then you're going to have to go out and, and find you something to do. So I don't, I don't recommend you stay, you know, Stay unmarketable. You know, like, you got to get... I recommend you get your education. It could be a certification of something. It ain't got to be a full degree. Participate in your skill or hobby. Your hobby. You got to find a hobby. You got to find something to do. Instead of sitting around the house all day, you know, I know this, this, this COVID, this 2020 thing, got a whole lot of people, you know, stay at home. What? Okay. Well, if, if you do... You got to do a stay-at-home business or or stay-at-home hobby. You got to do a hobby. Get a hobby. I, I recommend getting some fresh air, getting outside in the sun. It's messing with you. Um, A lot of y'all probably vitamin vitamin deficient. Get you, Go to the, go get you some vitamins and some minerals. Get your, get your endorphins up. They look sad and depressed. You know, that's, that's, um, you need to, mm. Go to the gym, get get your get your body back in shape. You know, get your because once you get your body in shape, your mind you get your mind together, you get focus. You feel me? Like just get get your mind right. Um, you can you got your kids? Take your kids. Um, spend some quality time with your kids instead of just you know being this whole stay at home mom thing. Um, I'm a single mother, I know, but I learned a lot of things along the way. And um, being a stay-at-home mom ain't one of them. I have never been a stay-at-home mom. Um, I've always been in school getting my degrees, working on my business. And I, I thank God for the wisdom I've attained over the years. Um, my, In fact, my, my last boyfriend, he cheated on me because I was working at... I was working so much. <laughs> but I, I just... Um, don't be a stay-at-home wife without any skill set. Um, log on to like Skillshare and learn a new skill. Find a hobby, please. Um, hang out with your friends. Just go and, and visit your friends or family members. Do not lose contact with your friends because you're in a new relationship with this man. Don't, don't cut off. Don't let him cut your friends or family off. That is your support network. That is the number one biggest mistake a narcissist make is they try to cut you off from your friends and family members. Don't do that. Don't let nobody take away your um your support system. Um don't become reliable on their money. Their money is not reliable. Um uh, a lot of men a lot of men are starting to become unreliable. Um I learned that the hard way. And I, I feel bad that they had to learn it the hard way because they thought that their husbands, their marriage is gonna last always. And people change, you know, and that's that's real sad that they going through what they going through. That's that looked hurtful. That's hurtful. That is a hurtful feeling when you when you got a family with this guy. You you know you you fell in love, and you and you feel like it's. I've been there. I know. In fact, it's always been me. I'm the one that had to walk away from it. Um, thank God I've never been on the receiving end. I've never had a man walk out on me and leave me destitute. I've always been the one to walk away. So the blame was on me to destroy our family. But the man, he he became so, so impossible to deal with, to live with, that I had no choice but to walk away for my own peace of mind and for my child's peace of mind. So 
I get what she I I get the hurt. I get the heartache, but I'm on the other end of it where I had to break away. But had but I've always been the one bracing myself the entire time too. It was like, oh, I know he finna leave, or I know he getting sick of me, or I just, you know what I'm saying? I always had my guard up, but it's like, okay, I let you pay. You gonna help me pay these bills. I mean, you ain't finna live here rent free. Like, I ain't let no man try me like that. You know, well, my ex-husband, because he was like, I'm looking for a job, I'm looking for a job, but he tried me like that, but ain't no man ever live with me rent free like that and just didn't just do nothing. Like that was the that was the last man that tried me like that. That was the first man and the last man. But I I know I learned I learned a lot of things how um how they would try, men will disrespect you. They will disrespect you. They will try you like you stupid, and they'll feel like sex is the only thing that they need to bring to the relationship. These men are playing mind games now, and they feel like you so desperate for a man you will do anything. You will accept any any man. And and then so you why you let yourself so far gone because you so depressed and so exhausted that 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 be the reason why he left you because you let yourself slide and and you ain't you know and so you, you you depressed now and you can't figure out what went wrong because you know the relationship was some people are energy vampires and that is a real statement they will drain you of your energy and then they would leave you just like that and then they'll complain because of that oh i left you because you changed your look changed you don't look the same no more you don't act the same no more M men will leave you because of what they did to you side effects of a bad man you know they'll leave you like you know when they met you you had it all together and you was very beautiful you had very self-esteem high self-esteem confidence you know very shapely you know when they met you you was very gorgeous and you was on top of your game. You was, you know, but now throughout the course of the relationship, they pull you down. And so that 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 be the reason why they leave you. When you can't get, when you stop giving them what they want, when they can't get out of you the things that they this is out of this relationship, this is why why I dated you because of men date women for when a man wanna use you, he'll date you for your resources, he'll date you because your family might be connected. He'll date you, you know, for your money. He'll date you for your your friends. He'll date you because of who you're connected to. A man when he, when a man is using you, he'll date you, um, because of certain things he can get out of you, or you know, or she's compassionate. She'll she'll just let me lay here, and I'll just tell her I'm getting myself together. I'll make excuses. She'll just fall for it. She'll let me do whatever. You know, he he when he feels like he can push you'll push over. He'll push you over. And so, um, got to just be mindful of, of these men out here. Don't ever, never, ever, ever stop working. Don't ever stop um, having marketable skills. Please, ladies, please get get it get it together. Don't let these men take care of you. These men, they got money, they got a good job, and they sit up there get you pregnant. And then they take their good job and they take their money and they move out of state and then you got to try to chase them down for child support, chase them down for alimony, you know, damn, don't let them put you in that situation. And then you, you know, you, your rent is so high these days right now, it's inflation and, you know, you just got to choose better, choose better men. Um, it's nothing wrong with us as women. And I had to come to the conclusion with myself, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm a very smart, beautiful, talented, intelligent woman, black woman, love the skin of men. There's nothing wrong with me. It's something wrong with the men because I'm a good hearted person and I'm considered an empath. Men look at women like me and say, I'm going to use her. I'm gonna, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to use her. See how much well, I can get out of here. See how long she put up with me. It ain't. It ain't me. It ain't you. It's the men, the thoughts that they think when they when they meet you. Because they automatically come with a hidden agenda. And then you don't find out until later on in the relationship. So, this is my advice to you. Never, never stop working. Um, even if you got to build a small business, a little a gig on the side, doing something. 
Um, do not break away from your family and friends. Um, go back to school, get a skill, get a trade, learn how to, you know, read or write, you know, get you never, never stop build, put, building yourself up, looking beautiful. Never stop getting dressed up. Always get dressed. Always look your best, your very best. Even if you were stay at home, mom, always dress for the part. Always look good for your husband. <laughs> if you're a stay-at-home wife, <laughs> stay-at-home wife, look good for your husband, but still always look beautiful. Always um, carry that radiant smile about you. Keep your consonants glowing. Um, take care of yourself. Um, never, um, I never let him isolate you. Don't, don't get isolated. That was another thing they was talking about in this video. Oh, oh, I don't know where I'm going to live. My friends and family don't talk to me no more. He cut me off from my family. Do not let them isolate you from your, your support, net, their support network. Oh, I'm on this um, app right now because I can find and meet good people. So now you on social media reaching out, you know, hoping for a friend request. That is desperate as hell. That is That is so sad. Um, gosh, you know, don't leave yourself in that situation and don't go begging him back because let me tell you something, man's rejection is God's protection and maybe God wanted to get you by yourself so that he can bless you because that person was standing in the midst of your blessings and that person was probably riding the way, riding the, your coattail, wanting to ride. So you finna do something with your life. You finna go somewhere and do something. So maybe that person was just trying to hang on with you and see where you finna go and do with your life. Because he noticed you are uh, amazing. You are talented. You are beautiful. You are strong. You are awesome. So they were just riding away. Especially if you was trying to get yourself together in the beginning of that relationship with that before you met that man. And you was doing good with your life and your business. And he just got with you to ride your coattail. Oh, she finna go somewhere. Everybody can't go with you to the next level. So the Lord will make that person break your heart so bad that you got to leave them or they got to leave you. But either way, y'all got to go y'all separate ways. And everything, um, everything happens for a reason. The next phase of your life is going to be the best phase of your life. I, I believe that. I believe that. I truly, I felt that from the bottom of my heart. The next phase of your life is going to be the best. And this year, 2023, is going to be the best new year for a whole lot of us. I'm telling you, this is going to be the best year ever. Y'all got some blessings coming. I, Oh, I, ooh, I felt that. Lord Jesus. Oh, bring them on. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bring on those blessings. So um, keep your head up. It gets better. Um, heartbreak sucks, but we all got to go through it. And what it's not that you got your heart broke. It's what you learn from it. All right, my dears, love, hugs, and kisses. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Bye.